No doubt you've heard that there are two theories of relativity. The special theory of relativity and the general theory of relativity. So naturally you want to know what's the difference between them. Well, here's how it goes. Einstein was obsessed with understanding how the world, how the universe would look to someone who's moving through the universe. You wouldn't think that that would be the key to understanding reality, but it turns out that it's a vital question to ask. Now, in the special theory of relativity, Einstein focused on observers that were moving with a very special kind of motion, constant velocity motion. That means motion at a fixed speed in a fixed direction. Now, even with that restriction to that special kind of motion, Einstein realized that you could extract some deep insights into the nature of reality. He was able to figure out that at constant velocity motion, an object would be squeezed. It would be compressed along the direction of that motion. And if you want a more realistic version of that, you can have a taxi cab moving down Fifth Avenue going at very high speeds. That taxi cab would appear to be compressed along the direction in which it's moving. And in fact, if you were to jump in to that taxi cab, Einstein's insights tell us that the outside world would undergo some really wild looking distortions because of the impact of constant velocity motion on space and on time. Deep insight. Now, that was 1905 when Einstein came up with these ideas. Ten more years of working and thinking and calculating allowed him to generalize this theory to motion that was not constant velocity motion, motion in which the observer could be speeding up or slowing down or going around a bend, what we call accelerated motion. And it's not obvious, but that move from constant velocity motion to accelerated motion, it turns out brings in an understanding of the force of gravity. So Einstein realized that by now including generalized motion that would include accelerated motion, he could get an understanding of the force of gravity in terms of warps and curves in the fabric of space and time. One of the most beautiful insights ever. So in a nutshell, that's the difference between the two theories. Special relativity focuses on motion at constant velocity. General relativity generalizes that to include motion that can be speeding up or slowing down, accelerated motion, and in so doing, it turns out, brings into the theory an understanding of the force of gravity.